we have this Eric's text field class now, which is pretty general. So right now, this class is inside our application, but the concept is general enough so that it can be used across many applications. For that reason, it would be good to extract it from our application as a package, as a library, and then reuse it in other applications we are going to create. So let's do that. Let's see how we can create a library or a package. Those two terms are um, mean the same thing in Dart or in Flutter. As you probably know, the packages, the Flutter packages are available through a website called pub.dev. So this is the example. And if you want to look for Flutter packages, you just need to change the tab and you can search for those packages. So in this episode, we will try to push our own package to this repository so other people can use it as well. And at the same time, we want to extract it from our application because it's general and it doesn't have to be connected with this particular application. Those concepts are general enough to be extracted. So in Dart and Flutter, this is very easy. In order to do that, we just need to use the Flutter create command. I'm right now in the in our applications, the email app directory. So I will just go one level up and I will create our package at the same level. So I will use the Flutter command line tool and the create command. And there is a parameter called template. And I just need to specify the value as package because we are going to create a package and then the name. So let's call our library Eric four, which is somehow similar to Eric start because we want to have a package that provides reactive uh, fields. Okay, so now let's open this this new <clears throat> package in VS Code. So it generates some code, some basic code we, we don't really need. So let's go ahead and remove all that. And now let's quickly create a, the source directory and inside let's create Eric's text field class. And let's switch to our application. Let's go to Eric text field and let's copy all that and let's paste it here like so. Let's fix the tests. So for now, we don't want any tests. And the last thing we need to do in the, in the auto-generated file called Eric's form dart, which is the name of the package, we just need to export this uh, package like so. The last thing is to go to the pub spec, which is the description of our package, which will be available in the repository for other people to, to see. So we need to use that file to describe who's the author, what this package does, etc. So let's keep it very simple. So as a description, I will just write reactive forms for Flutter. provide the website as well. And that's pretty much it. So before we push this package to the central repository, let's see if it can be, if it works with our code locally. So in order to do that, let's go back to our application and let's go back, uh, let's go to the pubspec file, the pubspec file of our project. And here, let's provide the dependency as Eric's form. But we cannot just use it as those other packages because this package is not yet available on the central repository. So we need to use a parameter path so we can specify where this package is in our local file system. And as I said at the beginning, I just went one level up. So I will just say that there is um, Eric's form package one level up relative to this to this project. And let's hit save. And this should be enough to find the package. Okay, no errors. That's good. So now let's 
remove this import Eric's text field. Let's remove this file from our project. So delete. So here in the message compose, let's just use the auto suggestion feature and let's and VS Code is able to find our class and our new package. So let's just import that. And it looks good. Let's remove those unused imports as well. So now if we click on this, we are going to the actual package, not it's not inside our application. Let's see if it works. It works. The last thing is to push this package to the central repository so other people can use this package. So this is pretty simple. Let's go back to the terminal and here in the we have to we have to go inside the Eric's form directory and we need to use the flutter command line tool again and this time we need to say publish. So if you run this command for the first time it will ask you some questions to authenticate. It will guide you through a process, authentication process. I already did that. So in this case, it's only asking me to confirm if I really want to push this to the central repository. So I already pushed that, so I won't be doing that. But as you can see, this process is pretty straightforward. Answer no. And now let's go to the central repository and let's try to find our package. So Eric's form. As you can see, it's here. The version is already two because I did some changes. This is the package. It auto generates some information how to install that as and this package only has one class now, but we will be adding more classes and I will publish it on GitHub. So if you are faster than me, you can provide your own reactive fields for forms. So now our application is simpler. We extracted the common part as a package and this package is general enough to be used in many other future applications because it's about forms, it's not about email functionalities. And it's also possible for other people for you to use this package and we can create it together. That's pretty much it. See you next time. Before you go, I would like to invite you to my newsletter. I'm not very active on social media and I think email is the best way to communicate. So if you'd like to stay up to date, I will be sending one email per week, Friday evening with all the materials we did during that week and some additional ones as well, tips and tricks, articles. If you're interested, it'd be great to have you. See you next time.